Education. I'm the underside clerk, Board of Education, Winoka School District I-3 of Woods County, Oklahoma. Do hereby certify that prior to December the 15th, the last calendar year, the date, time, and place of this regular scheduled meeting was filed in the Office of the Clerk, Woods County of Oklahoma. If any change has been made to the date, time, and place of this regularly scheduled meeting, prior proper note proper notice in writing what has been given to the county clerk as required by law no less than 10 days prior to the implementation of said date. I also certify that at least 24 hours prior to the meeting, excluding Saturdays, Sundays, and holidays, that the date, time, place of this agenda of this meeting was posted in prominent public view at the location of this meeting. Witness my hand and seal of the school district this seventh day of March, 2016. Rick, here. Rick, here. 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 Pertaining to said office and obey the Constitution and laws of the United States and Oklahoma. I do hereby solemnly swear I will support the Constitution and the laws of the United States of America and the Constitution and the laws of the state of Oklahoma and I will faithfully discharge <coughs> and the best of my ability the duties of my office and employment during such time as I am a member of the Broken Board of Education. Thank you. Do it Thank now, you. or do I do it right now with my notary? Or? You can do it after. Okay, I forgot mine. I was looking at the paintball. I forgot mine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, reorganization <laughs> of the board. Um, I nominate Mindy Zook for president. I'll oh, second. Any other <coughs> nominations? Okay, do I hear a motion? Uh, also, also move. Uh, Rick, how do you vote? Yes. 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 Okay, nominations for vice president. I'll move it. Leave Rick as vice president. Any other nominations? Any other nominations? Motion that our nominations cease. And that Rick be elected by acclamation. I'll second. Clerk, how do you vote? Yes. 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 <coughs> nominations for clerk. I nominate Mr. Ferguson. <laughs> Any other nominations? <laughs> Don't look at me that way. <laughs> You like to read in public, don't you? I do. I love it. <laughs> not, not today so much. <laughs> Any other nomination? Do I hear a motion that all nominations cease and Andy be elected by a <coughs> question? I so move. Do a second? Second. John, how do you vote? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 appreciate it. Visitors, comments? <laughs> no comments. Okay, number seven, opening of bids for the purchase of a new bus. <coughs> Midwest bus sales. <coughs> Midwest, out of El Reno. <coughs> I'll just get Is there any on my desk? No, no. That's all right. I'll go get some. Well, I know. I think I know where somewhere I have, maybe. Just going through this one quickly, there's just a couple of things that his chassis, uh, his gross vehicle weight's a little heavier than what, <coughs> than, than what our specs were, and the uh, heater is a little, uh, is 10,000 more BTU than what our specs were, but not just. I may know that, but his bid was $53,459. Put that back in that envelope so I won't lose it. We're getting separated. And this is for how many passengers? 29 passengers. 29 passengers. That's the same size as what we call 11 and 15, the last two buses you bought. Right. Raw 
cost transportation. Thirty-six. <coughs> I'll have to look and see if there's anything. Let me see that. What's the engine on the on the uh, Midwest bus sale? I need to look and see what this is. What this is. What's the matter? Yeah, 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 yeah. Is it a black one? make a motion that uh, well as far I mean someone's got the cheapest one but let me when we make a motion let me make a motion to make sure that I check through this and make sure that this is the same bus as I'm getting with, at Midwest if it is Midwest was the cheapest one huh? no no yeah. Yeah, this oh okay 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 yes you're right you're right all right all right well then that takes care of that <coughs> Okay. Yeah, 53, 459. 459, Okay, okay, okay. I looked. At, I had that in my mind backwards because I don't know the Summit buses, but. I know what the I know what the Midwest bus is, so that works out. Are you satisfied with the Midwest? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. I'm satisfied with their people and their how they take care of things. And, Ross is the same way that Ross is a good company too. Summit I don't know about. And I know they sell a lot of buses, but I've never actually bought one from Summit. But the 53, 459 from Midwest takes care of that. Okay, do we have a motion to accept the bid from Midwest bus sales for 53,459? Absolutely. Do we have a second? Second. Andy, are you both? Yes. 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 Did you put everything back in those envelopes? Yes, I did. Put that in the uh, uh, summit envelope, please. Yeah. All right, thank you. All the file following items will be approved by one vote unless any board member desires to have a separate vote on any or all of these items. Consent agenda consists of discussion, consideration, approval of following items A through H. Okay, just. Uh, Basically, you know, you're aware that uh, that our uh, gross production is down. It's it's going. It's it's more. It's already at this point more than uh, 2012, 13. It's going to be close to 13, 14, but it's going to be half of what 14 15 was you know 14 15 was an exceptional year over a million dollars gross production we're not going to we're not going to be close to that but uh, we still may get somewhere around the over, a little over 500,000 which will put us almost at uh, uh, 13 14 and like I say it's even more than we only got 300 some thousand in 12 13 so uh, 
you know, we'll, we'll keep an eye on that and watch that. Spending wise, we're we're about thirty-eight thousand dollars ahead of where we were at this time last year. But I am taking out the fact that we bought uh, the activity bus and the uh, uh, addition at the uh, the hog barn. You know, if you put those two things in there, then you, that's another uh, two hundred and seventy thousand dollars. But but just as far as uh, how you're budgeting and everything, we're about well thirty-eight thousand five hundred sixty-five dollars ahead of last year. So that's you know, and then those things we can manage. You know, we can we can take care of those kind of things. So uh, like to see gross production up. You know, uh, oils went up last few days. You know, if it'll get up in the in the forties. Then it should, you know, it should level off. And we should be okay. But you know, if it gets back down to less than thirty or down to twenty, then we'll take some more hits between now and first of the year. But uh, again, <laughs> uh, I'm aware of it. You're aware of it. We'll watch it. We'll continue to watch things and make sure. But we're not, we're not, uh, we're not spending money foolishly at this point, and uh, we're going to be all right going into going into next year. You, so you didn't end up having any protest or anything like that. Well, yeah, well, that uh, Atlas Pipeline, we get it. I mean, it'll be, it's on there again, but it it doesn't it doesn't go under ad valorem money. It goes under some different state money. But I, okay. I right now I don't count on that till I see it. But the last two years we've got it by July first, basically. Okay. So I'm assuming that's three hundred some thousand dollars. I'm assuming we'll get it again. Nobody, no, nobody I talked to has, has said we're not going to. I mean, I know we've got tough economic times and everything right now, but nobody's made any mention of that being a problem. And first time I hear it, you'll hear it. But it is protest or is it not? Well, it's just, it's it's not protest. It's just it's Re a deal. Reimbursed from the state. It's reimbursement from the state Avalon fund, a deal that was made by the state for five years, and we're on. This will be the third year of it. I may we prove. Senate agenda items A through H. Second. Vote yes. 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 Other yes. yes. reports, Superintendent? Okay. Uh, went to Oklahoma City this weekend <coughs> and uh, watched the basketball players get their uh, state academic champions medal. Uh, that was, you know, that was pretty nice last year. I, I was trying to figure out why I didn't go last year, but that was when. Uh, Don and I were at the new school board member workshop, but uh, uh, <coughs> it was nice. The kids looked nice, and they they were pretty appreciative of, of what all happened on Saturday. So, so that was fun. Uh, baseball and softball started their seasons today. Uh, uh, softball's at uh, Buffalo, and you know I haven't heard anything back. It'll, it'll be a late night for them because it's uh, junior high and high school. I don't know how they were going to how many games they were going to play of each, but anyway, it'll still be a It'll be late when they got back. We sent uh, Gilbert with them and took them on the big bus, so they should be fine. Uh, Mr. Smith's got the field looking nice. Uh, he's still not finished with it, but uh, you know it's he, he's done a lot, so he'll stay after that. And uh, Kids Inc. told me today that they're going to put up the backstop, uh, a new backstop next week. They won't if the wind's blowing 40 miles an hour like it's been blowing for the last two weeks because that. It's just a little on net. Doesn't seem like much. You get that thing strung out and try to hang on to it. So, <coughs> weather cooperating, they'll take care of that. Um, uh, our auditor was here today. Uh, one thing I have to have to address, and uh, you know, he he may mention some other schools that have been doing the same thing, and I guess he's going to make them do do something different this year too. Uh, I have to, I have to write up a set of uh, rules, parameters, or something before I give. Uh, I mean, I have to write up one this year to satisfy the audit, and I'll write something up and I'll give it to him, and he'll tell me if it satisfies the audit. But anyway, uh, before next year, I have to write up some kind of list of things that we're looking at as accomplishments before we give a stipend. We just can't give a stipend to be given a stipend, so. Uh, like I say, he told me two or three other schools that he audits that have been given stipends that he told the same thing to this year. So that's one of the things on the 
audit people have said take <laughs> care of. So I, I, I have some notes on that. I'll take care of that. Um, uh, so does that have to be individually or just as a school? As a school. As a school. Yeah, some, some of the things that, that, that I can come up with that, okay. you know, generalizations of why I would give a stipend. So, okay. and like I say, I know some of the other schools, and I'll call them and kind of see what they've done. We'll, we'll have a few, you know, it won't be just one thing, it'll be a few things that if we match any of these criteria and the money's there, and, uh, we, you know, we'll have that option of doing it. and. Uh, you know, I have to put in there that this is a one-time thing and it, it's not reoccurring, which is why you do a stop and instead of giving them a raise because that's what you're getting at in the first place. But anyway, I can take care of that. Uh, a couple of things that uh, we, I don't know if you want to say a hickey on that, and it won't even be on the uh, report, but uh, there was one date on a, on a ticket. Somebody sent us a bill and it, the bill wasn't dated. That's, that's not even a problem. And then on uh, Infinite Campus, they always send us uh, a bill this year for next year. And he advised us how to do it last year. And then I, I believe that he changed what he thinks, how he wants us to do it this year. So we're, <laughs> we'll take care of, you know, Lori and I have already talked about that. But th those won't even be on the audit report. But that's the only two things he found that he even came in there and said, you know, look at, th look at this and fix these two things. So. Uh, really, really clean uh, audit. Like I say, I'll, I'll fix the <coughs> the recommendation on how we're going to pay the stipend or, or the parameters for the stipend. And then if we get a stipend next year, we'll have a, a set of reasons we can do it. But, uh, basically, I think that's about all I. Oh, we're being, and, and we've been, we have been working on this for a while, and I don't even know if I've mentioned it, but, and it's, you know, uh, Five years ago, we were monitored at, when I was at Olive, uh, but but we're being monitored by the State Department for on our testing, regular ed and special ed. It's a desk monitoring, meaning they're going to come out here and if you go in there and look on the copy machine, it says you know you cannot make copies of test material and and you know they they're going to uh, look at our meetings and say yes, <coughs> we did have a meeting with each teacher explaining the procedures of giving the test. Uh, you know, yes, you did put the labels on the test correctly and all that. So it's it's just making sure we're doing what they tell us we're supposed to do to give the test, to make the test uh, uh, legal, I guess. So uh, this is for end of year tests? Yes, 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 for our uh, state mandated tests. And they're working on that. Ms. Baker, she's been working on something, uh, <coughs> answering questions and, and getting stuff ready for them for even before the first of the year. I mean, so it's an you know, cause it's an ongoing process to get everything done. But uh, I think Mr. Mayweather said that that start about uh, first of April testing. So uh, I'm sure a couple of days those people will be out here and and <coughs> they'll ask the teachers, uh, did you get the test material? You know, the day before, or did they bring it to you that morning when they're supposed to, and things like that. So, but we're, we're working just trying on to get all of our paperwork make sure that it's all correct when they come out. <coughs> I mean, it's stuff that we've done, right? It's yeah, nothing it's that we've did or anything wrong. It's just that we're up and they're going to check us out thoroughly. Yeah, so we'll yeah it's our turn. want to make sure we're prepared. And, and, and you know, mo I mean, we're not, we're not scared of this. We're getting our, our uh, uh, cafeteria is being monitored by the state this year too just one of those things we have to do and what they do if they come in if they find out okay you're not doing something right they tell you this is how you do it and this is how you fix it and you fix it and move on so just, just something that we have to do on occasions about once every five years it's, your number comes up <laughs> that's it any questions um, when when would you like to start um, discussing uh, or like uh, getting things around for a new bond issue? Well, I thought about you know trying to have a special meeting next week, but then that's spring break. <coughs> but the week after that, for sure, we need to we need probably to have a special meeting a night or two anyway to get at least you know get somebody in here and start jump through those hoops. But we need to start. And I'm ready whenever, whenever you guys are ready. Just figure out what times you want to have meetings and what what nights you want to have them, and 
go from there. You know, I have to have 48 hours notice. Is that going to be a good week for you guys? I'm going to have my calendar. I'm ready to schedule. <laughs> so. Week after. Break, break. The week after and I thought that Monday break. night, where oh, I do Monday night anyway. You know, and, and if we wanted to have another one that week, we could still get up the next Tuesday morning and have one even Thursday night, you know. Do you so. know what the baseball schedule is that week? Uh, <coughs> you, you got it? I, yeah. My person in here. What day would that be? I believe there's a track meet. There's like the day. 20th. And the, no, 21st, maybe. There's a track meet. The 21st is the Monday. Yeah, is the 21st. Yes, that, that, I think that's just a track meet. It's a high school track meet? It's high school. And junior, I'll be there. So you'll be gone? You'll be both of you guys will be gone that day. Uh, well, well, we have it in the evening. We have it Saturday. Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm thinking, yeah. Yeah, there's no you way. Think we think it's I bet we are. Yeah. Where is the Metro Ring one? That's Covington Douglas. Covington, yeah, you'll be really early then. Okay, they were done. I'm gonna guess five or six will be back at the latest. So well, you just have it probably schedule on the twenty. Break is that good for you? Well, nothing's good in tax season, is it? <laughs> So, so set one for the 21st, 730? Yeah. Okay. And I'll have, I'll try to have, and yeah. I'll try to talk, but I'll, I would like to have it <coughs> Boynton, at least Boynton Williams here that night to answer some questions and go over their stuff. Does that sound like a plan? Yep. Okay. I'll get it done in, we'll, Lori and I'll get that taken care of. We'll have it. Okay. Have it ready. Uh, principal's report. We have to go over a uh, college readiness uh, error that we get on the school, so I'm going to pass this out. I'll look at it together here. <coughs> One more. One more. <coughs> What I have here is the five-year trend. There's some other breakdowns, but it's probably the one I'll look at the most. And if you look back, and I just go over to English, and I'm looking at English in 2011, and we were at 19.1. You work your way down to 19, 17.8, 18.6, and 20.7 in English, which has jumped quite a bit. But I think that. Carly's done a pretty good job the last couple of years of getting things kind of lined out there. Uh, one thing that we've done too, I think, and Mr. Tackett's really helped in this too, uh, we've had a person come in and, and kind of advise us on ACT with our kids and uh, just kind of as an experiment and also giving us some ideas for, for classwork of how we handle our classwork and We've kind of been right on target for those things, so uh, I think we're kind of heading in that direction. Uh, if you, uh, it's already passed the, what, the, the center of the house one of uh, wanting to do away with EOIs, and they're going to end up using ACT before this is all over, and we've been kind of looking at this for a couple of years, but if you look at the math part, it's the same way it was at 19.5. Now we're back up to 19.3. It was down there a couple of years pretty bad, but it's it's headed back in the right direction there also. Reading, uh, we've talked what we've done for the last five years. Now with, that's the same for English too. Uh, science. 20.4 last year, 20.1 this year. So we're right there in the ballpark. And then your composite overall, we're 0.1% <coughs> off of what the state average is. So we're kind of right, you know, we're, we're moving up and hopefully we can kind of keep the moving those uh, ACT scores up a little bit higher. So the other thing, uh, if you look over at the far left where it says total tested, that's the numbers. <coughs> 11, 17, 11, 14, and 14. And we had 17 kids that were seniors that year. And 14 of them took the ACT. And, and like I've said all along, our numbers are, uh, are a pretty high percentage of our kids that take the ACT. So if you compare, 
if they do actually go to ACT as your EOS, <coughs> uh, you're going to see that. Uh, I would say you're probably going to see that state average go down and, and our scores go up because not everybody reports everybody takes well, I think another important number is the number of kids that that what I say have to take zero tests you know we're ahead of this we're not in algebra but everything else we're ahead of the state average for right. uh, kids that don't have to take zero classes in college which is a, a big deal to people's pocketbooks too. That kind, of, <coughs> that kind of confuses me a little bit. On the chart, on the uh, bar graph chart, where there's the percent <coughs> ready for college level, and we uh, were in the dark blue, so like Mr. Tackett said, all but algebra. We've got a higher percentage, but we're basically a tenth of a percent behind on the composite score with the state average. Well, that's not that's not based on the state average. That's based on uh, the college algebra on the ACT being a 22. What they consider, what the ACT oh. considers the over here. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 Okay. Like 79 percent of our kids, at the, of the 14, 80 percent of them scored 18 or above on okay. the ACT English test. I got you. <clears throat> so the state average ACT and then the, <coughs> the baseline <coughs> metric for college readiness are two different. Right, two, two different charts. Yes. yes. Questions about that or any discussion? No, that's all I'm going to present tonight. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Mr. Merriweather. Um, number 11, vote to approve or not to approve the renewal with employee evaluation system, the OKTLE for 2016 17 school year. Okay, we've been required for uh, three, four, five, six, for six years, I guess, we've been required to use a model evaluation instrument. And when they first come out, there was three of them that we picked from. Most most schools in Oklahoma picked the OKTLE, uh, which was actually built in, by Tulsa schools. And uh, that's what we've used. It's an online system. Yeah. I, I, I would want someone to make a recommendation that we stay with that because our, you know, our teachers are trained, our principals trained uh, to use that system. If we go to another system, it's going to be very expensive. <coughs> I'll make a motion to approve the renewal with the employee evaluation system. Thank you. I'll second. Yes. 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 Yeah. But to approve or not to approve the following fundraiser request for the 2015-16 school year, boys baseball, selling t-shirts and hoodies. Okay, what Mr. Smith's want to do is just basically sell some t-shirts or some hoodies with something baseball on them. He's in, and, and as far as the fundraiser, all he's going to do is try to make, get enough money out of him to get his cost back. He's really not trying to make, you know, any big amount of money, but he just wants kids or the parents or whatever to be able to have some kind of hoodie that represents or a t-shirt that represents Winoka baseball. I'll make a motion to approve. Second. Second. Clint, how do you vote? Yes. 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 Do we have any new business? No new business that I'm aware of. Do we have a motion to adjourn? I'll make a motion to adjourn. Thank you. Second. Second. Yes. 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 yes.